Jennifer, will ever wonder what happens to all the clothes and products that department stores just can't sell? Well, they have to clear them out at some point to make room for fresh merchandise. And consumer expert Amy Davis found the answer and at the same time stumbled across some great bargains. Yeah, I think this is really interesting. The way we've been describing it is department store clothing at garage sale prices. You know, maybe you wouldn't buy a shirt for $10 on the clearance rack. That's still like, eh. But what about $5 or even a buck? It's like Black Friday every morning at Caffey Enterprises in South Houston. On the outside of the nondescript warehouse, these signs are the only indication of the bargains inside. I've seen people with baskets and they buy for the whole family. Shoppers sort fast, plucking finds from piles of clothing and accessories heaped on tabletops. We get trucks about two and three times a week. Mark Caffey never knows exactly what's inside. Just a description, men's, women's, or children's clothing, all new. It could be a display model, or it could be merchandise that just didn't sell, or they bought too much when they bought their inventory. So they need to move it because they have new inventory coming in. Caffey says he's not supposed to share the names of the stores, but we recommend recognize tags from Macy's, Target, Sears, Kohl's, and Costco. And this week's shipment, we found men's boxers, structure brand, three of them regularly $24. A seven pack of men's socks, regular 18 bucks. And Calvin Klein skinny jeans, all of these just $5. Kathy used to only sell goods by the pallet, one price for the whole thing. They're usually shipped to South America or African countries for resale, but last year they changed things up. So we decided, well, why don't we sell clothes by the piece? And it's worked out really well. On Monday, everything is $5. Tuesday, it's 3 bucks. Wednesday, $1.50. And everything that's left on Thursday is $1. It's all good condition. I mean... You can't beat that for the price. <laughs> it's better than Walmart. <laughs> it can also be random. In addition to clothes, there's makeup, kitchen tools, and on this day, there was an entire box of cell phone otter boxes. These retail for $15 to $20 on Amazon. All right, so Caffey Enterprises also sells furniture and appliances, all sorts of random items returned to stores like Walmart and Costco. We posted details on how to find them and pictures of other items we found there on click2houston.com. So the furniture and other items, those are not all $5 sure, and a sure. dollar, but I mean, they've just got sort of all, I was impressed. I know. I was like, I got to go back. You found a few deals. But you know, I'm the type door. of person that I'm like, at that price, I'll take two. <laughs> <laughs> and Rachel's like, oh, if I wouldn't buy it at 300, I won't buy it at 10. I'm <laughs> like, no. Agree. Yeah, we're Full kind price. of opposite. Right? I know. <laughs> got to think twice about it. All right. Let's go together. We can balance yeah. each other out. <laughs> right. Well, coming up.